Yeah, I'm free tonight. <laughs> <laughs>
Being single, you can control your time, money, and freedom without even a second thought. You can flirt with anyone, you can develop stronger friendships, live up to zero expectations, and most importantly, focus on yourself. Because eventually, you're gonna be in a relationship again and you're gonna wish you had this time to explore who you are and what you want and need from the next babe. And I have a lot of benefits for being single. And another great benefit to being single is the excitement of the next relationship to come. You know those honeymoon vibes where you wonder what they're doing and if they're thinking about you and overanalyzing every little text? I thought this for the honeymoon vibes. But those only come at the beginning of a new relationship, not at the end of your crusty ass dumpster of a situation ship. Oh my god, that was so rude. But also true. So if none of these reasons made you even a tiny bit excited to be single, then that probably just means that you can't find happiness alone and shut up your hours at the therapist's office. Oh, that reminds me. Oh. Find therapist. Okay, so back to our space and social media break with all this newfound freedom and time that we have now, you are going to need to fill that void. Use this time to throw yourself into a new project like home renovation or cooking classes, a YouTube channel, or maybe it's been a while since you checked up with the squad. Do people still say squad? Been a while since you've seen your friends? Friends is still cool. Right. Then hit up your friends, rally that support crew, because this stage of getting over your ex is all about distracting yourself. I'm just saying, you won't have time to cry about your ex if you're out hiking, or learning a new language, or taking up watercolor, picking up a new sport, or, or buying a new lovable pet to take your mind off the bitter crew world that's devoid of all love. Your star. Your star. Just like your mommy. Just like your mommy. Don't leave. Don't. Why do they always leave? Not saying it's healthy. Just saying it's me. And that's the thing, everyone deals with the pain of breakups in a different way and by no way is this a step-by-step -step guaranteed plan and in no way am I a real therapist with any business to tell you how to grieve, but I know men and I know women. And I know how to survive a breakup and come out the baddest bitch alive, subjectively. Ask my friends, ask my family, ask my followers, ask my, no that's sorry. But I know. But ask any of them and they will tell you that I told them that the most important stage in getting over your ex is rebuilding your confidence. Now, it is so common after a breakup, especially if we weren't the ones who initiated it, that we start picking apart our physical appearance and our personality traits, just questioning everything about ourselves and why it was that we couldn't make our relationships work. But pause on the dramatics for a bit, because it was literally your physical appearance and personality that hooked Bay in the first place. Remember that. Remember that. The most painful breakups aren't about one person in the relationship, it's about the inability for two people to compromise their behaviors and beliefs for each other. Look at me getting all profound and Ooh, I should have really been a therapist. <laughs> Dr. Phil who? Basically, you had them, you shot your shot, you made that shot, you locked them down, and you will do it again, but with someone way better because you have taken this time to focus on yourself. It's all coming full circle now. You see, I know what the I'm talking about, okay? Stick around. P.S. That breakup glow that everybody talks about? That happens not. I'm currently in it. <laughs> right? You see, being single is actually being in a relationship with yourself. And I must say, out of all my relationships, I am my favorite girlfriend. <laughs> I treat myself good. And someday someone else will too. Right? Right? Alright, y'all still with me? Being a YouTuber is hard. Now, my followers are always asking my opinion on rebounds. And like I said, every breakup is a case-by-case -case situation, but that was, that was, that was my butt. I, I'm just trying to keep you guys entertained. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But I will say, against the advice of many therapists and dating magazines, I am all for rebounds. Hear me out. Rebound sex, not rebound relationships. Rebound sex takes care of like three stages of getting over your ex. The joys of being single, filling the void of loneliness with some fun distraction, and rebuilding your confidence. Cause ain't nothing gonna skyrocket your self-esteem like getting those cheeks clapped, okay? My mom is watching this, so I just wanna take a moment to apologize. I'm sorry, mommy. But get yours.
and then get home. Because rebound sex is fun, but rebound relationships are a nightmare waiting to happen in three to six months. Why do I always have to learn things the hard way? Anyways, are you guys still hung up on your ex? <sighs> All right, I guess I'll continue with this very next important step to getting over your ex. So I'm gonna need you guys to go get a pen and a piece of paper. And I want you to write down all your ex's bull qualities. The possessiveness, the manipulation, the lies, the way he chews or snores like a half dead warthog. All the qualities you'll never have to deal with again. And you might even notice some of the qualities you're writing down are the same damn issues you had with previous exes. Patterns much? No judgment, I, I got patterns too. But right now, your mind is probably in romance rewind, just playing all the good memories of your relationship on repeat. So we need to remind ourselves all the reasons that the relationship didn't work out. Honestly, guys, the best hands down advice that I can give you to help you get over your ex is to realize that some relationships just aren't meant to be. Were you trying to marry every person you dated? No. Most relationships exist to help you learn something about yourself or bide some time for the right person, but mainly to help you grow. So be grateful for a lesson learned and accept that your relationship has served its purpose. And that's it. That's it. Now I know when it comes to giving advice, I'm kind of the sh but if this video that I poured my heart and soul into wasn't enough to help you heal your breakup wounds or maybe your wounds are deeper than you thought, then I recommend talking to a real therapist because sometimes we all just need a little extra help. And therapists are like super easy to access these days. You can even do it right from your phone, which I actually need to do in the very immediate future. So I'll do a video on that for you guys too. Cause that's what I do now. YouTube videos. <sighs> What do you think? Oh, this is uh, the part where I'm supposed to ask you guys to like, subscribe and like and comment and send nudes or whatever. So please uh, subscribe. But like seriously, could you guys subscribe? Or better yet, show your girl some love and watch the next video. And if you're not already, why the are you not? Follow me on my Instagram, your favorite ex-girlfriend, for memes, videos, self-assessments, quizzes, games, and polls for future videos. Yeah, but I'll be flexing on the ground. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Very cool of you. And I hope you have a happy breakup. Not what I, you, you guys know.